to get breakfast and go. Jeremy, who loves you? You. That's Can right, you. What's 20 times 7? Honey, 20 times 7. 20 times 7. Uh, 140. 140, I knew that. Dad, why can't we come? I'd love to have you all come, but my boss is putting me in a dive hotel. Yeah, explain that to me again. They made some last minute changes and the a dump was all that was left. So I gotta go. Daddy has to go. Mm. See ya. Bye, Dad. Who's your favorite dad? You. Right, okay. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 See you later. Okay, that's right, guys. Gotta run. Did you remember that today you have to drop off the laundry and then tomorrow on your way back? Pick up the tickets to Danica's play and grab some lumber to build the kids' playhouse. Right? Yes. Oh. Do you know that you are loved and appreciated? How could I not? Good. I don't want you to feel like you're only here to serve my every win. Oh, yeah. And take out this trash on the way out. Yes, dear. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the psychology faculty and student conference. Is that right? Uh huh. Look at here. Uh, most of you folks have already arrived. Oh, good. How can that be good? You're a little late, aren't you? I mean, you're like the last guy to show up. What's your name? Ben Carter. Oh, now see there, you're just being shy. It's Dr. Sam Carter. Yeah, if I was a doctor, I'd be shouting from the rooftops. You're one of them, uh, Modest types, aren't you? I like it. I like it, I do. So, I'm sorry, is my room ready or not? Sure, sure. Say, what do you think of the saying that psychologists are really crazier than those who are trying to help? Have you been thinking about seeing a psychologist? <laughs> my mom's crazy. Was crazy. Is. She's no psychologist. <laughs> If my room's not ready, I don't mind coming back. At all, really. Thank you. Save that for later. Pardon me? Nothing. Enjoy your stay. I meant to call you, but my cell phone doesn't work out here. Well, do, do I need to come back right away? Okay. Well, I'll uh, call you in a, a little while. Um, I'll check in on you later on, okay? Okay. All right, I love you, hon. Rebecca, jeez. I've been waiting forever for you to open that box. And a girl can only wait so long, Dr. Carter. You shouldn't be here. Well, I'm not trying to get you in trouble. Just the opposite. No, we just for anybody. But since you're the big cheese, I figure, what the heck? <laughs> so, doctor, I heard your little speech. Powerful stuff. So I got a question for you. You think a man ought to help anyone he can, no matter what the circumstances? Well, I am in the helping profession. <laughs> Don't I know it? <laughs> you have Say the Word written all over you. You know, Doctor... I'm sorry, Mr... Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds, I am really tired. Please forgive me. I... Oh! Say no more. A man as important as you must have all kinds of people pulling on him. It must be exhausting. Well, thank God you got yourself a good wife. Yeah. Sounds pretty on the phone. Pretty? You don't think she's pretty? Oh, yeah, she's really, she's really pretty, yes, yes, yes. Well. Right. Rebecca. Look, 
Dr. Carter, all I want is a chance to tell you how much I admire you. I've never seen a man more devoted to his family. So loving and loyal. I am a, I'm very flattered, but I am a happily married man, and I want to stay that way. They would have kicked me out of this graduate program if it wasn't for you. Do you remember how stressed I was? You made me feel like you understood what I was going through. And now I'm here to do the same for you. Please go. But you're not opening the door. I just want to make sure you understand. One night only. No one will know. And it can't hurt your family. Because it'll be as if it never happened. I'm trying to give you a gift. You just don't think you deserve it. and tired of taking care of everyone else around here. I am so exhausted right now. What What do you... Maylee, hello? Maylee? Doc, uh, where are you heading? Your place is over there. <laughs> I guess you being smart in psychology and all don't necessarily make you good with directions. Hey, yes, thank you. I, I was just out for a bit of fresh air, and I guess I got turned around a bit. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> well, night. Night. Miss Daddy. Mm, I miss Daddy, too. That's a great idea. We'll take a picnic. Rebecca. I saw you standing by my room. It's not what you think. It's May Lee. Hold on. Wait a minute. May Lee. No. I don't know how that happened. I'm, don't know how I'm that so happened. sorry. May Lee, I'm sorry, okay? Will you just calm down a second? Just can we just calm talk? Calm down. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you think a man ought to help anyone he can, no matter what the circumstances? <laughs> 